Good morning, everyone, and welcome to NASDAQ. My name is Brandis, and I'm Henry Shine's Relationship Manager. We are so happy to have all of you here today for World Oral Health Day. I'd now like to welcome up our Executive Vice President, Bruce Aust, to make some remarks. Thank you, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. I am extremely pleased to welcome Stanley Bergman, Chairman of the Board and Chief Executive Officer of Henry Schein to the NASDAQ Market Site this morning. I'd also like to extend a warm welcome to members of the Henry Schein Management Team, the FDI World Dental Federation, the American Dental Association, and global sponsors of World Oral Health Day, Unilever, and Listerine Brands. It's great to have you all here at NASDAQ this morning. Right here from the crossroads of the world in Times Square, New York, as we get set to ring today's opening bell. Now, we're excited to have you here to celebrate, as Brenda said, World Oral Health Day. World Oral Health Day was created at the 2007 FDI Annual World Dental Congress in Dubai to raise awareness of the importance of healthy teeth, gums, and mouths. The theme of FDI's World Oral Health Day 2013, Healthy Teeth for Healthy Life, underscores the importance of oral health to overall health and well being. Around the world, FDI member dental associations such as the ADA, dental industry leaders such as Henry Schein, Unilever, Listerine Brands, schools, and other groups will use this day as a platform for action to promote the prevention of oral disease and enhance access to oral care for underserved communities around the world. Henry Schein has always exemplified the characteristics of what it takes to be an inspiring and responsible corporate citizen. We value greatly our partnership with Stan and the entire Henry Schein team. And we're very honored to have you back at NASDAQ today to shed light on this important day in oral health. So now please join me in welcoming the CEO of Henry Schein, Stan Bergman. Thank you, Bruce. And uh, everyone, I think, in the dental world certainly knows my partner, Jim Brislowski, is the president of Henry Schein and CEO of our dental company. And Bruce, it's really fantastic to be here with you. Uh, the NASDAQ has done a wonderful job for companies like us. You've taken us from a market cap of uh, something like $200 million to uh, 8.7, 8.8 billion dollars. You've supported us at every level of our growth with the most transparent and uh, the most effective marketplace out there. So thank you, thank you to you and to Bob and the whole team. So um, it, it gives me, of course, great pleasure to be here today uh, with everyone to underscore the importance of oral care. We will be joined in a few minutes up here by Dr. Catherine Kell, who's the treasurer of the FDI, a very, very important organization that is uh, mobilizing the whole oral uh, community, oral care community in the world of, uh, 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 of ensuring that oral care becomes center to uh, care in general as part of the continuum of health care in general. And in that connection also, uh, we are very, very pleased that Dr. Steve Gunardis is with us, who's the ADA representative for this part of the world on the board of trustees of the ADA. Dr. Madeline Monaco, who's the Senior Director of Scientific and Professional Affairs, Global Research and Development Engineering for Consumer and Personal Products uh, at uh, Listerine Brands. Thank you for being here. Uh, we welcome you here, and we welcome and we recognize the importance that your company plays in the whole continuum of oral care. And of course, uh, from Unilever, another very, very important corporate social responsibility focused organization, Christy DeSantis, the Senior Manager of Health and Wellness Marketing, and Greg Knoll, the Senior Manager of Medical Marketing. It is our great pleasure to be here today, of course, with everyone, and of course, to be here at the NASDAQ, drawing attention through this great institution to the importance of the message we want to get across, and that is that oral care is very, very important. There is no more effective way to advance important issues for society than through public-private partnerships. And this public-private partnership is a fantastic private partnership. Steve Kess, who has done a wonderful job for us uh, in advancing our ad message to the world, which is that companies, professional associations, and NGOs, plus uh, important financial institutions can bring to the world's attention uh, matters such as the importance of oral care. So we're very, very excited that Henry Schein Cares has been able to partner with the American Dental Association, the FDI, and of course, uh, Listerine Brands and Unilever. So, Thank you all for being here, people from the academic world, the industry, government, NGOs, etc. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will ask my partner, Jim Brzezlowski, 
to uh, focus on us a little bit more on why oral care is so important in the total continuum of care. Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you so much, Stanley. It, it is such a great pleasure to be here this morning. We are so proud to be involved in oral health care. And one of the things that we don't often think about is the fact that good oral health care begins so early. It actually begins before someone is born. The evidence is there. The awareness is growing. The action is starting. Each year, we see continued building in the momentum of understanding and collaboration to action. Just a couple of facts that I would like to share with you. Oral infection and periodontal disease in a mother can increase the risk of premature birth and low birth weight. Poor oral health in a child can increase school absenteeism and diminish the ability to learn. Caries in children can also affect nutrition and growth and also weight gain throughout life. In adults, periodontal disease has been linked to heart disease and diabetes. For many years, we've been talking about this. And good oral health is so critical to overall systemic health. And the greater that that awareness becomes something that brings about coordinated action, we, ha we ha can then begin to become more and more comfortable that we are all together truly making a difference. Around the world, alcohol, tobacco use, and other behaviors are spurring oral cancer rates. The oral health profession, the dental profession, is actively involved in helping with early detection. Early detection saves lives. Dentists can also play an important role in addressing sleep disorders, from snoring to sleep apnea. And later in life, good oral health and the retention of teeth can improve a person's overall quality of life and social integration. This multi-pronged approach to addressing good health issues through public-private partnership, as Stanley said, social responsibility, and the solutions that we collectively offer to our customers is what we are proud to offer today and every day, and specifically celebrating World Oral Health Day. Thank you again, everyone, for being our guest today to celebrate this milestone in partnership throughout the global dental community. We look forward to continuing to work with everyone for many years to come as we build this year's event to make the theme World Oral Health Day 2013 Healthy Teeth for a Healthy Life, making it a reality in our world. Now, I would like to invite Dr. Catherine Kell of Federation Dentaire Internationale to add her perspective on the importance of World Oral Health Day. Thank you so much. And on behalf of the FDI World Dental Federation, I want to thank the NASDAQ for celebrating World Oral Health Day with us. March 20th is officially World Oral Health Day, and our aim is to raise awareness and encourage individuals, families, communities, and governments to take action to prevent the epidemic of caries, gum disease, oral cancer, and tooth loss. Our theme, Healthy Teeth for a Healthy Life, raises awareness of oral disease, and a healthy mouth is essential for overall, oral, or for overall health. The FDI World Federation and its members, uh, and also in, who also include the American Dental Association, seek to achieve optimal oral, oral health. I'd again like to thank the NASDAQ for helping the FDI pursue our mission of leading the world to optimal oral health. And we're very, very grateful to Stan Bergman and Henry Schein for all they've done to make this happen, along with our World Oral Health Day sponsors, Unilever and Johnson & Johnson. So let's celebrate World Oral Health Day. Thank you. So uh, thank you, Dr. Kell. Dr. Gennardis, who is the uh, member for the New York area of the American Dental Association Board of Trustees. Sir, please. Thank you. Good morning. I bring you greetings from Dr. Robert Fiella, the Board of Trustees, and the 157,000 members of the American Dental Association. It's a pleasure to be here this morning to mark the FDI World Oral Health Day. The theme of this year's event is Healthy Teeth for Healthy Life. Our message reflects the major contribution of oral health to our overall contribute to our healths and lives. 
Around the world, FDI member dental associations, schools, companies, and other groups will be able to celebrate this day with events organized under this single unifying and simple message, healthy teeth for healthy life. The American Dental Association is proud to be a member of the FDI and join with them in this important and momentous occasion.